Nielsen, the global analytics group most known for its TV viewership statistics, reported in June that a whopping 82% of global consumers played or watched video games during the coronavirus pandemic. I found myself taking up the strategy board game Diplomacy, which can be played via online engines like PlayDiplomacy.com or Backstabber.com. The game was invented by Harvard Law School dropout Alan Calamer and was commercially released in 1959. It has famous fans such as Henry Kissinger and John F. Kennedy, as well as newsman Walter Cronkite. Much like the game of chess, diplomacy engages our ability to problem solve. Chess has been shown to increase math test scores in some studies, although a 2018 study published in the Journal of Human Resources contradicted that result. Less quantitative studies have been done on the board game of diplomacy, though some educators have published qualitative analyses of the benefits of using the game in the classroom to teach international relations and soft skills like working with others. The game relies on historical accuracy with a map that mirrors pre-World War I Europe. Participants will play as England, France, Germany, the Austrian-Hungarian Empire, Russia, Italy, or the Ottoman Empire. But unlike the game of risk, in which combat is decided by dice, diplomacy depends solely on coordination with other players, demanding the forging and breaking of alliances. It is easy to see how diplomacy might be used in the classroom to teach Machiavelli's ends justify the means or Metternich's balance of power theories. But as much as the game depends on one's diplomacy skills, much is determined by the layout of the map. In a game between experienced players, it is probable to see an initial alliance between perpendicularly placed powers, such as Austria and Italy, or Russia and Turkey. An alliance between Russia and Austria, by contrast, is improbable. The two powers face each other and are destined to fight over the same land. All of this is to say that essential to succeeding in the game is the ability to see all the different possible alternatives and to be able to weigh those different opportunities and make short and long-term decisions accordingly. I had the chance to play a diplomacy expert who goes by the name of Florida Man. He is ranked 22 on the Play Diplomacy website. A joint post-game commentary video by us is linked in the comments below. Subscribe to Colburn Classroom and be on the lookout for new videos.